Hey, this is Raul. Please act right. This is a young lady that I did a video on not too long ago. But this is a different video. And I had to post this one because she's talking about a client that she was working with that's going through misery after a breakup. Something that she herself is familiar with going through. I want you to listen to the agony in her voice and see if you recognize who these women are going through all of this over. Check it out. She's called me last night and she was hysterical. Um, she's post breakup month five, I believe. And she's on her healing journey. And I've always been honest about the ugly side of the healing journey, the um, less optimistic side of the healing journey. She, I can't do this, Kitty, and I'm trying, and you don't understand. And I said, you think I don't understand them? Now, now, remind you, we we have an identical story. You don't understand this. You're just always telling me to go. And I said, you think I don't understand? She says, yes, you don't understand. I said, I got something for you. I told her, you don't think I know how it feels to cry? every single day in a relationship hoping that this person will change not realizing that until this person changes themselves they cannot change for you they cannot be beneficial to you to continue to try to give hope to a relationship that is dying to be crying every day not eating for hours not being able to focus on anything to sit here and beg this person to just do right for one second constantly reassuring them constantly affirming them constantly trying to prove to them that i love you i'm the one for you i'm the one i'm here for you constantly validating their feelings while they're constantly seeking external validation for multiple women you think i'll understand that it's crazy because we have the exact same story i said you think i don't understand how it feels to continue to try to give life <laughs> to continue to try to revive to continue to try to give cpr to a dead situation you think i don't understand that looking at myself in the mirror and not being able to recognize who i am i can't even tell myself that this is you because i lost who i used to be i thought i said i lost over 10 pounds looked at myself my skin was dull there was no elasticity i looked in my eyes i didn't know exactly who i was i looked like i was soulless yes I understand exactly how that feels. And I knew that I could not walk away until I found the strength, until I had the mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional strength to walk away. I told her, I said, yes, the healing journey is ugly because you tried so hard to give life to a person that couldn't give you life. All they could do was take. I understand that. So I'm going to continue to tell you to go. The person that you used to be, you will never be able to get back to that person because that person allowed too much to happen to them. That person lost themselves within somebody who didn't even know who they were. So yes, you have to continue to go. Don't stop. Even in the moments where it feels like you have to and they are hard, you cannot stop. I did my best. She's gonna be okay. Um, more exercises, but I'm gonna help her on this journey. It's hard if you are on your self journey. It's, it's gonna be hard, but it's possible. Now, do you recognize who she's describing? The type of guy that they're going through all of this over? It's a guy who is not serious about them. A guy who is just playing around with them. A guy who comes around when he wants to, leave when he wants to, and he can come back again whenever he wants to. And she will take him back. That guy is defined as Tyrone. They're going through all of this over a Chad and Tyrone type. Just listen to how they're describing his actions. Post breakup month five, I believe. Five months crying over a guy who refuses to act right. No pun intended. I can't do this, Kitty, and I'm trying and... She can't do this. What does she mean? She's gonna go back to him so it can ease the pain? Only to go back to the same toxic mess? Or is she talking about killing herself? I told her, you don't think I know how it feels to cry? every single day in a relationship hoping that this person will change if they don't change after the first time you talk to them they're not going to what you see is what you get continue to try to give hope to a relationship that is dying see that's the problem it wasn't a relationship you're saying it was a relationship he saw it as something to do when he had nothing else better to do sit here and beg this person to just do right for one second Come never beg somebody to do right by you you ask them to do right by you once if they refuse find the exit door constantly reassuring them constantly affirming them constantly trying to prove to them that i love you i'm the one for you i'm the one i'm here for you do you hear this constantly trying to get them to understand that you're good for them nope now before i go any further before you all go into the comment section and start talking about how stupid they are First, you gotta understand that women are emotional. And you have to understand this one other thing. 
everybody plays the fool at some time. Everybody watching this video, you have played the fool at one point. Might have just not been on this level. I'm making this video so women will understand that you should only fall for this nonsense once. Once you see what it looks like from a person who doesn't really value you, you should recognize it in the next person and break it off before it even gets started. But now we know that some women will finally leave that one Tyrone and start dating another one just like them. Just completely ignoring all the signs that they learned from the first Tyrone. <sighs> constantly validating their feelings while they're constantly seeking external validation for multiple women. And there it is right there. If you're with someone, no matter whether it's a man or a woman, and they are constantly seeking validation from other people, you are wasting your time. That person should only want validation from you and only you. Because we have the exact same story. And that's exactly why I wanted to make this video. Too many women allowing themselves to go through this with a guy that doesn't even want them. To continue to try to give CPR to a dead situation. You when the doctors and the nurses have done all they can for a person that's been injured or suffering from an illness, once they recognize the person is dead, they just simply go, time of death, 10 a.m. and they just walk away. Looking at myself in the mirror and not being able to recognize who I am. I can't even tell myself that this is you because I lost who I used to be. All of this over a dude that doesn't even care about her. Let me show you exactly what I'd love to do when I hear women allowing herself to be put through this nonsense. You are a last girl. My God, pull oh, yourself yeah, together. Yeah. The person that you used to be. You will never be able to get back to that person because that person allowed too much to happen to them. Exactly. Don't ever be that person again. Never let anybody put you through this mess ever again. The minute you see they don't have your best interests at hand or they're not putting in the same work that you're putting in, it's time to go. I learned this a long time ago, knowing when to walk away. I was labeled even by my own mother that I would give up at the first sign of trouble. She even told a few young ladies who expressed interest in me to her, be careful, because as soon as you do something he don't like, he gonna get rid of you. Now, she did tell a half truth, but I don't just get rid of a woman in the first sign of trouble. I get rid of them when I see consistency happening that's negative towards me. Let me give you an example. So I'm seeing this 49 year old grown woman with grown kids. She worked days and I work nights so we can only see each other on the weekend. So I called her on Saturday and said, hey, so what's happening? You coming over to my house? I'm coming over to your house. What's going on? And she responds, well, you can come over here. So I said, okay, what time? And she goes, well, first um, I got to clean these vegetables and cut them up. Um, that's going to take about 10 minutes. Then I got to cook them. Um, that's going to take me about five to 10 minutes. And then I gotta eat them, so that's gonna take me another about five to 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna take a shower, and then you can come over. And I'm on the phone like, I didn't ask you all of that. So I said, okay, what time? Bro, bro, I said, I gotta cut these vegetables up and cook them. And now she gonna tell me the same thing all over again, instead of just answering the question. I'm sitting on the phone like, are you serious? But this wasn't the first time that she had done something like that. She makes everything difficult. So after she went through it the second time, I let her finish, and then I said, okay, so what time? Rao, Rao. I said, no, 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 no. I tell you what, let's do this, because this will be easier for both of us. You stay at your house, I'm gonna stay at my house, and we'll try this again another time when you can answer a simple question. And hung up on her before she could say anything else. I'm sitting there trying to edit this video, and I'm already behind on it. I ain't got time for your childish nonsense. I asked you a simple question, give me a simple answer. You do the math. I'm not gonna do the math. But once again, this wasn't the first time that she had done this. She had done stuff like this over and over again. So once I got a whiff of this is who she is, making easy things difficult, puff, poof, be gone. Got rid of her with a quickness and never looked back. She can be a problem to somebody else because I got better things to do with my time than to deal with some 49 year old so-called grown woman who can't answer a simple question. Now some would say, and you kicked it at the curve for that? Yes, I did, and here's why. If she can't answer a simple question on the small stuff, what do you think is gonna happen when something big happens and I need her to resolve the issue? She already showed me who she was, and that's all I needed to see. So my mother saying, as soon as you do something he don't like, he gonna get rid of you? No, it's not the truth. But in the words of Tyler Perry as Medea, I never just throw anybody away. I tell the person, this thing you're doing, if me and you gonna be cool, you need to fix this. If they fix it or I see they're working on it, I keep them around because that means they care about me. 
But if I tell them to fix this thing and they don't fix it at all, or they keep doing it, I have to let you go. So if you've ever been through this once, don't you ever tolerate anyone else to put you through it again. When you ask them to do right the first time and they continue, game over. It's better to dump the person and save yourself than to put yourself through this. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, if they don't act right, get rid of them. My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.